Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Dapper Rat and you're watching Rat Rants. Today's subject, Cassidy. Cole fucking Cassidy. I thought my hatred for Genji was pretty bad, but holy shit. Cass has been able to consistently make me seethe with little to no effort. At least when I saw Genji, there was still hope of having fun. Originally, I was going to make this video about Farah, but Cass truly does take the cake for the most brain dead, annoying character in the world. So why Cass? What about Cassidy is so worth hating? Well, to be completely fucking honest, it's his whole kit, with maybe the exception of his ultimate, Cassidy's entire kit is the most infuriating fucking thing to go against. Cass was originally the go-to Farah counter that had an annoying heat-seeking grenade, but for a long time, that was it. So what happened? First things first, let's just touch on his primary fire for a second. It has a pretty crazy damage output, but I mean it comes with the roll. He's a DPS after all. Plus it has fall off range, which put a pin in that because it'll be important later, but overall his primary fire is pretty good and not really that tilting, especially since it has a pretty heavy focus for headshots. His secondary fire, only known as HP Deleter, is incredibly stupid. Who thought it was a good idea to give a consistently good poke character an anti-tank attack? Usually for any other poke character, their main weakness is the fact that if they get dove by a tank, they, in the worst case scenario, die or best case scenario are forced to reposition. But in Cassidy's neck of the woods, he gets to burst down the tank's health arguably faster than the tank can burst down Cassidy's, which is horrifying considering that tanks are at very least doubling his health pool and are still getting burst down quicker. And it's not like Bastion where Firstly, he has to initiate his tank buster mode, which then goes on cooldown, but it takes just enough time to initiate that the enemy tank knows what they're in for. This robot just turned into a turret. It doesn't take an astrophysicist to realize that you find cover or you're going back to spawn. But in Cassidy's case, he just has direct access to this, nah, I'ma do my own thing, ass button. Realistically, unless you're playing D.Va and maybe Doomfist, Cassidy is an impossibly uphill battle to dive, and if you are playing any tank that can put up with his bullshit shenanigans, well, good luck closing the distance. Now, believe it or not, I hear you. But right, if diving won't work, perhaps a flank of some sort. Which makes sense. Every single other poke character suffers from a flanker, and if you are playing a smaller character, then fan the hammer is less effective. But that's when his ability, less skillful and a dart, comes into play. Now, the name is an over-exaggeration, but also at the same time, not really. If we look at the effects on tanks, Anna's sleep dart is clearly better. And also, Anna's dart essentially counters all actively being used type alts. However, in terms of stopping a flank, the name quite honestly holds true. For most flankers like Tracer, Sombra, Venture, Reaper, and potentially more I am forgetting right now, their main benefit is their movement. Tracer's blinks make up for her low HP pool, Sombra's hack makes up for her honestly lack of movement mid-fight and relatively low time to kill, Venture's kit gives her shields to literally enable how balls to the wall her playstyle is, and Reaper's fade helps him get out of sticky situations as he is a very noticeable flanker. Cassidy's nade stops all of these movement abilities and forces the victim to essentially stop moving. This means that in almost every single duel as a flanker against Cassidy, you are in a uphill battle because you are one button away from either not being able to use the very thing in your kit that lets you be effective, or are forced into a battle of time to kill, of which as we established Cassidy's damage is really good and hitting a headshot on a non-moving target is light work. High mechanical skill character, my fucking ass. So where does this leave you? You can't dive, you can't flank, and trying to rush him down just opens you up to getting clicked on the head, which I admit his mid-range fights are skillful. The only option left is to space him out. As I told you to remember earlier, Cassidy does have a fall off range, which means the only way to consistently beat a Cassidy is to outrange him. And not in a sense like other characters where say Venture has a max range she can even attack from, I mean you have to space him out and then have an ego battle of mechanical skill, which the best characters for this are usually Ash Widow or Hanzo. The issue that unfolds from this is truthfully purely my issue. I don't find point and click heroes fun. Usually with every other character and style in the cast, even Farah, I can see it being fun, 
but hitscan consistently bores me. But that's not everything, there's still one more part of his kit that is utterly stupid, that being his roll. Cassidy's dive roll is often what enables him to be a consistent tank buster, what with its fast cooldown and the effect of instantly reloading his weapon. However, this isn't even the most bullshit part of his dive roll, as for whatever reason, his dive roll can essentially let him survive just about anything. You can literally strap Chaser's ultimate to his chest, and if Cass just rolls, then the damage is null and void. He is designed in the most poor way possible, being a multi-tool that is, depending on the map, better than a specialist with the same purpose has an ability that lets him survive what are often insta-kill ultimates, and a button that trivializes the most common ways to counter a character designed to poke, and the best way to counter him is to drool on your keyboard in the backline holding a fucking angle. This character should have been scrapped along with the name change, because Jesus Christ is he bad for the game. Stupid ass. So, uh, yeah, subscribe, like, maybe. New videos every one to two weeks on Saturdays, and, uh, farewell, ladies and gents.